music channel I am Daryl Smith as if you couldn't tell by the name of the channel down there and today I'm going to talk about my beloved Court EVL 7 string guitar which I used on the song Twisted which is on my new EP which you can find here I don't think annotations work anymore so I guess I'll just put a picture there but there'll be a link to it down below in the description uh, but yeah, this was the guitar that I wrote the song on, I recorded the whole song on, and this is pr this is my only 7 string. I have owned other 7 strings, and by that I mean I've owned one. <laughs> I owned a Schecter Omen 7 at one point, and uh, yeah, <laughs> why should I say about that really the better, but honestly it was just, it was mostly just down to the pickups. Feel-wise, it was okay. The bolt-on was, you know, just like a straight square bolt-on, which, you know, didn't really help it all that much. But, you know, for the, you know, it was what it was. And I got rid of it quite a while ago, and then I uh, acquired this when it was on holiday a few years back. And uh, I haven't really looked back. And every time, like, if I kind of put off seven strings for a while, and I'm just kind of like, oh, whatever, and then I pick it up again, I remember why. I like it so much. I had never really heard of Court until um, I, I saw this guitar in the music store that I went to. And uh, the funny thing is, is that we went in and I wound up getting this guitar and my sister actually, who was with me at the time, she went and bought a Court acoustic guitar and I'll probably insert a little bit of footage here of that. That's actually a really nice acoustic guitar. But we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about this guitar. So uh, we'll run down the specs first. We got your bog standard maple neck, rosewood board, and you got a mahogany body. Uh, pretty much everything hardware wise on here is Quartz own brand stuff. So you got Quartz tuners, your Quartz uh, bridge, and uh, then you got volume, tone, three way. Pickups, on the other hand, are from EMG Incorporated, and uh, these ones are, they're not active ones, they're actually passive EMGs, uh, which, you know, whatever you want to say about active pickups versus passive pickups is entirely your opinion. I think it's, you know, just two different kind of things. But these ones, these are really great sounding pickups, actually. I really like these pickups. Because they seem to have a kind of a, like a nice... They have a nice kind of jangly quality about them and they're quite clear actually, especially for clean tones as you just heard there. And yeah, I just think they're really good sounding pickups and they work really well with uh, this like, with this guitar, you know, in the woods and all that. The only thing that I really have against this guitar is some of the hardware is a little bit kind of cheapy. You know, the toggle switch has always been kind of jiggly and the bridge is very stiff. Trying to adjust it, it is very stiff. So you might want to get maybe a bit of WD-40 under there or something like that to kind of loosen it up a bit. But the tuners are really good. The tuners hold themselves very well, they hold the tuning really well. And that those two are really the only gripes I had about this guitar. The other cool thing about this guitar is that it's all satin, which I love. You've got the satin kind of almost like matte finish on the body. And then you got this awesome uh, neck joint down here, which is so smooth. You can see it's kind of chamfered, uh, like around the edges there. It's just kind of rolled off, and you got a nice little thing here just to help you get to those high frets a little better. And it's super, super easy to play. The neck is 
pretty thin, you can see it right there. It's not super like Ibanez thin kind of thing. I have a friend of mine who actually owns an Ibanez and every time I pick it up it just like, whoa, okay. I just gotta kinda chill out a little bit more on this. It's still thin enough that you can you can stretch across it fairly easy and not really have stretching problems, if you will. Especially for those who are jumping from, you know, six to seven. So this should feel, you know, fairly comfortable for most people who are used to six strings and then just trying out seven strings. But anyways, enough about this. Let's run through some tones. So I'm using my Boss Katana 50 at the moment. I'll just put it on the clean channel for now, just so you can hear what that sounds like, crystal clean. Put the volume up a little bit. It's on the bridge pickup, by the way. So really good for that slappy kind of bass tone, you know? But cool for just... So really cool for just little arpeggiated kind of chords and stuff. So you can hear right there. Uh, we'll go to the neck pickup first. Well, after that. <laughs> You can hear that the notes don't really kind of um, have to really fight each other too much. They're fairly evenly voiced, these pickups. So. so, really cool, really cool for bass stuff as well. position now so so really, once again really good for that kind of you know really good for clean sounds so once again Big fan of these. Uh, we'll go up to the lead setting now on the amplifier with a little bit of a an overdrive on that as well, just for a bit a bit of tightness, you know. So we'll go. Oh, fucking hell! Turn that down just a tad. If you get a seven string then you're more than likely a fan of Dream Theater or Periphery or Animals as Leader, something along those lines. So yeah, I was but yeah, that's a really nice clear sound right there and it's very aggressive as well. <laughs> So you get quite a, you, you still get all the, you get all the dynamics of your picking. We'll go to the neck position now, give this a listen for some nice uh, lead tone. Just how I want a neck pickup to sound, that kind of warm but kind of fat and, you know, percussive sound, you know, where it has that kind of, you know, that... You, know, you get that nice... You 
really hear the picking, uh, the pick attacking the strings. So it's really cool. Next position right here will go for the middle position. Although I don't know how often you might use it on a distorted tone, but you know, you never know. <laughs> I just found a good place for it. So, yeah, really cool. Really cool sounding guitar. Uh, it is quite heavy, I will say. There is quite a bit of weight to it. I'd say it's actually probably near the same weight of my Les Paul. So, if you're uh, looking for a light guitar, I don't know if this is the way to go. But, uh, yeah. Great sounding guitar, feels great, it's really easy to play, and yeah, not really much else to say beyond that. So uh, if you ever get a chance, give Court a look, because they're really cool. Also, yeah, I, I keep forgetting to mention this to people. See a nice little bit where they don't paint the wood right there. I just think that's really cool. I don't know, I just think that looks really cool. But. You know, if you ever get a chance, check out Cork guitars, they're really cool. And I think they deserve a bit more love than they're getting, to be honest, I think. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you want to see more, just hit that subscribe button on the screen right now. There should be also some other videos here. And uh, don't forget to like my Facebook page, and also, uh, don't forget to give my new EP a listen, which is available on Bandcamp for free, or you can uh, just, you know, donate whatever you want. So thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you guys later.